Hello and welcome to the Farm Cam Seed Service Department. Today we'll be going over tensioning the USC incline conveyor belt. Make sure you follow your company's lockout tag out procedures and or make sure the conveyor cord is unplugged. We want everything to, to be safe and no one to get hurt. As you can see, a minor amount of tools are required for this procedure. Half inch, 9 16 and 5 16 socket, wrench, and a 15 pound torque wrench. We'll start by re removing the cover at the bottom of the conveyor. For this demonstration, you'll see that we've removed the belt seal uh, so that I could show you better pictures of how the belt should look when it's centered in the conveyor itself. Here we're looking at the threaded rod and jam nuts that control the movement of the slide plate. There are three bolts on top and three on the bottom that must be loosened before the tensioning process can start. Do not remove these six bolts. Simply loosen them so the slide plate can move. Using the 15 16 wrench and socket, loosen the jam nuts. Now that we have everything loose and we're ready to actually put tension to the belt, uh, we've got the, the jam nut up far enough to allow it to travel to push the bearing down to actually tighten the belt. With our torque wrench sent to 15 pounds, and I'm using a wrench to hold this nut, which pushes them apart to push this down. Okay, we'll simply torque this to 15 pounds until we hear our torque wrench click. the torque wrench click. Okay. Once we've gotten to that point, we will not adjust this side of the conveyor anymore. We've set our torque at 15 pounds, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up my jam nuts here and get ready to move to the other side. Okay, now we've moved to the other side of the conveyor. And what I did before I came over here was I measured the distance between these two points. On the other side, we were at three and one eighth of an inch to here. So we're off an eighth of an inch on this side. Keep in mind, this is a brand new conveyor, so there shouldn't be much adjustment needed. If you've run a full season, you may move this one to two inches down to get the proper tension. But we torque the first side, measure the distance, come to this side and match that distance by running down the threaded rod. We're not torquing this side. I'm just using my torque wrench as a ratchet at this point. Our three and an eight. There we go. We're three and an eighth inches on this side, which means we've matched the other side, and the tracking on our belt should be close. It won't be perfect, but it should be close. Now what I recommend is, is run the conveyor for 10 to 15 seconds, then come in and we'll look at the tracking of the belt. We'll adjust it from the second side only. We won't touch the other side because it was torqued, so we'll make our minor tracking adjustments from this side. Okay, we've moved back to examine the tracking on our belt. Uh, in this case, we'll simulate that we've ran the conveyor because it's, it's not hooked up to electrical. But what you want to end up with is the same distance on both sides of the belt. And again, we do that by adjusting the tensioning on the second side. Tightening it or pushing the bearing down pushes it away from this side. So if it were tight to this side, we would move it with the conveyor off, of course. We want to do this as safely as possible. With the conveyor off, we'd make some minor adjustments, run it for the 10 or 15 seconds. Once we get close on this, uh, we'll let it run a little more so we can make minor adjustments. Again, safety is the best thing. Keep your hands out of it, tools out of it, people away from it, those kind of things. All right? So tightening the bearing on this side pushes it away from this side. 
if it were tied to that side, we would loosen this bearing or this jam shaft a little bit and let it travel back to this side. Do very minor adjustments. You don't want the belt rubbing and, and causing any damage while you're in there. But that is the proper way to tension a USC new style belt and the old style. 15 pounds of torque to one side, adjust the distance to the other side, and then make minor adjustments from that side. When you're all done, don't forget to tighten up the jam nuts on both sides, the, the six uh, bearing lock collar bolts on both sides that keep the slide plate with the bearing in place. Put your covers and shields and safeties back on. Uh, keep everything as it came from the factory for safety. We don't want anybody getting hurt with the equipment. And if you have questions, give me a call.